or so it was hoped. Yet despite the recount and its results confirming Ahmadinejad, the heated dispute around the election continued. The foreign media would not let down and it agitated the street demonstrations. It looked like the recount was now irrelevant. The pace of the restlessness had a mind of its own and the commotion that had been mobilized would not cease voluntarily. Was opposition beyond control? A new phase and a new face was in development. The voices of dissension were heard like never before. The government was openly accused of foul play. The recount was performed before witnesses and on camera, but never gained full legitimacy nevertheless. The result of the 10% recount was not refuted, but it was also never officially accepted by the opposing candidates. For the time being, Karubi and Musavi responded to the euphoric crowd, hoping for a miraculous escape out of the impasse. Musavi was insistent that the election should be voided and a new election should be instated. The onslaught against Ahmadinejad continued from all sides. Bijan Zangene, the high-ranking campaign consultant of Mirosain Musavi, had this to say. Ahmadinejad had committed doping. Zangene served as a minister of oil for over a decade. He was ousted when Ahmadinejad came to power. ما اعتقادمون این است که یکی از طرف های انتخابات که نامزد از نظر من حاکم باشه قبل از انتخابات به شدت دوپین کرد و این آزمایش های دوپینگش هم انجام شده و همش هم هست مداره که آزمایش های دوپینگ و در حین انتخابات هم در واقع مثل یک داور از قبل از انتخابات اعلام کرد نظرشو یعنی گفت من نظرم این است که این نامزد حاکم برنده بشه و در حین انتخابات هم یه مرتبه در اواخر چراغای استادیوم رو که در حال بازی بودن مثل که دو تیم بازی میکن چراغای استادیوم رو خاموش کردن 20 دقیقه بعد روشن کردن گفتن سه هیچ این تیم برد گفتیم خب کسی ندیم گفت به ما اعتماد کنیم ما آدم های عادلی هستیم ما بحث نداریم که شما عادلید یا عادل نیستیم این صد هزار تا تماشاگری که اینجا نشستن نمیتونن اینو بپذیرن که فقط به عدالت شما ایران is a truly multi-ethnic country in the northwest live the Azari. The Baluchis live in the south. The Turkmen are in the north. The Kurds live in the west. The Arabs occupy Khuzestan and the Lors north of Khuzestan. All the candidates came from their diverse regions. Mirosein Musavi and Azari was from Azerbaijan. Zahra Rahnavad, his spouse and most ardent supporter, is from Loristan. Her supporters consider her an avant-garde woman. However, her statement that it was her husband's ethnic background that guaranteed his success surprised many critics. In an interview, she emphasized the advantage. Ahmadinejad quoted her in his victory speech. Musahibe Karde Bayek Resane Karbi 
گفته ما صد درصد برنده بودیم اما مخدوش شد اون سوال میکنه میگه دلیل شما چیست میگه دلیل من دو تاست یکیش اینه که من خودم بچه فلان منطقه هستم پس شوهر من میشود داماد فلان منطقه مگه میشه مردم فلان منطقه به داماد خودشون رأی ندهند Ahmed Inyad's victory surprised many. In an initial reaction by Western mainstream media, some experts cited his widespread support from the rural areas, a fact that was completely ignored, although independent statistics monitored from the U.S. had verified the ratio of two to one in favor of Ahmed Inyad throughout the country before the election. Either one can say that uh, such a massive difference It's go- it shows that, uh, you know, maybe Ahmad Nejad managed to get uh, his people, which are mostly, for, uh, you know, concentrated in small towns and rural areas, and uh, other, his other base of support among the more traditional elements, the Basij and so on and so forth. And so this is, you know, everybody was caught by surprise, because normally in previous elections, rural areas and some participation would be low. We interviewed some of these villagers. Their stern stance against the wealthier candidates was uncompromising. Ahmadinejad had captured their trust and their vote. The people who are in the country are in the country. They are not 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 in the country. کجا هر چی چی خریده کجا بونگا داره کجا چی چی داره همینجور که بوده مثل ما خودمون ساده چیزی نداشته ما رو این رای بشتادیم یعنی از دیگران نشنفتیم که کجا هر کاخ داره کجا هر چی چی داره در دهن مردمی که نمیشه بازم هر که هر چی به خود میگه ما رای به احمد نجات میشه بازم چرا؟ بران که مردمیه تقریبا به نظر ظاهر باطن خدا میدونه ولی از نظر ظاهر ما میدونیم مردم احمدی نجات کلاوی را گرفته اینا همه حرف اینا احمد دوی که مملکت خراب کنن و دید چیزا دومت میدن آخه بیسه چار میلیون را نسم ایرانه نسم ایرانی را برده چه, چه بشت کنن بچه در نسم ایران یه جا رای داده بود باقی دیارش تخلق بوده چهار مال بختیاری همه بیشتر به احمد نجار رای داده ما که اشایریم که بختیاری بوده محسن رضایی هم بختیاری تمام به احمد نجار رای داده نه ته سام بشون نوشته براشون براش دفترچه که رایگان داده ده برای برای اینو اقدامش خوبه برای بهتر از همه فردان شهر چهار مال بختیاری همون قلعه سرخ و میدونک و باغ ناظر و اونا همه روستان همه بری به سال کنید هزار تا روستا بختیاری هن بیشتر نه مثلا بیا دونه اشایر کوجنشین بعضی ها اشایرش اسکان گرفتن بعضی ها کوجنشینه همه اونجا که بری فقط به عمل نگاه رای دادن چون برای شو مثلا برق داده آب برش برای شو کشیده مثلا برای استان ها به شو برق و امکانات و برای شهست سال ها کمک کرده مثلا خونه های به دونه سرپرست کمک کرده بهتر همه به عمل نجات رای دادن. In a one-person, one-vote system, votes hold equal weight regardless of who casts them, a universally accepted structure. We also interviewed those in the wealthier sections of Tehran. The polarization of the voters was undeniable, and they seemed to separate further apart each day. I was a member of Ahmadinejad, because I was a member of Ahmadinejad.